Paul's had a sore one to take this afternoon. Yeah, it's bitterly sore, bitterly disappointing. Um, I thought we were in control with the first half. We had a lot of good play, a lot of possession. Just maybe didn't have that wee bit of cutting edge, wee break, we didn't get in front of goal, and then we lose a, a, a sloppy goal. It's a, it's a poor mistake on our behalf. We're actually on the attack, and then we get countered, and then we make a bad decision. And it gives him a lift. I felt the second half we didn't start well. I felt we were too, we had too many mistakes. We, we, we gave the ball away too cheaply, uh, far too often, and then we make a really bad mistake for their second goal. And it, it really gives, gives him a huge lift. And I can see that us not really responding that well, but then we get a goal which changes it, you hope you can get back in there's still plenty of time left but I mean, we watched the video when the lad came in off the right and scored last week against Stirling showed them it, told them what he does and we didn't act on it and we, we didn't get up quick enough to block it and then the third goal we didn't react we let the ball come in far too easily and then the reactions are really poor You're disappointed with the defending which um, is even sore I guess given how strong the defensive display was last week uh, come on I know but it's another week you've got to do the same again um, and we played a, a, a very good team last week and we defended well but it's no use doing it one week and no doing it the next week so we've got to take learn more lesson for this and we've got to make sure that we bounce back and I still feel there's all to play for we are on a good run but we can surely we can rectify that the amount of games that we've got left The players will know that they've let you in or let the, the, the club down if you like um, given that performance this afternoon Do you have to talk to them in any great depth? Is it something they take on board and, and act on themselves? Well, you should know by now they're experienced enough to know that they've not performed well and made mistakes today um, Like some words in the dressing room but it wasn't a shouting match because it doesn't always help We just told them what we need to do for the next dozen games coming up before we react better and we've got to make sure that we fight for every game that we're in there. Given the score here and the results elsewhere, we've slipped out of the top four. Is that something that, that you think about too much at this stage? No, but the players, well, we should think about it because we were in a strong position. So we need to make sure that we, we get ourselves back in that. We want to be in the playoffs come the end of the season. So we've got a lot of hard work to do. I say that it's now about winning. Uh, we've got to show a bit more grit and determination. And in Excuse me, it's a management team. Do you have to try to find something else to, to get out of the players as well? That's that's seven without a win now in the league. I think they've got to find a solution also. Sometimes the players can't be always the management team. But we'll give them all the information as much as we can. And we've got to pick a team next week. I guess it's going to be a hard game next week. Every game's now hard. Every team's fighting for some. So we've got to make roll our sleeves up and stand up and be counted everybody to get the club into the playoffs. You talked in the build-up to this one about relishing the, the fight, the battle. Um, are you looking for more of that from the players now than in the coming games? Got to, got to fight and battle, scratch, to get some sort of result, to get us back to winning ways. That's the big thing at this stage of the season. And you know that one result can do just that, it can be the catalyst. Yeah, listen, we hope it's next week. We've got to go in there with a positive mindset, uh, but work really hard to, to get the result for the club.